Okay, well, hey guys, what's up? I'm currently on top of the gorge in Clue. And it's a place I like to go just to remind myself almost, you know, how small I am compared to God. And, you know, just how great he is that he's able to create all of this. And, you know, as I said, it's a walk I go on quite often. And um, I figure now is as good a time as any to address a question people have been asking me for quite a while now. And um, that question is, if God created the universe, then who created God? And I've got to say, that's a question you can't direct at the Christian God at all. Because as Christians, we believe that God didn't have a beginning or an end. He's an he's a uncreated God. Um, and lots of people don't understand this. So I figured I'd try to explain it using Einstein's law of relativity, which explains that time is affected by matter and space. And um, so we can see that when God created the universe, he in fact created time as well. And he can't be limited by something he created. And therefore he can exist outside of time. And that's why we always talk about God being the beginning and the end, because he created time. He created the beginning of time and in turn he'll create the end of time. And um, it's as simple as that really. And I think the reason so many people ask this question is because they like to limit God. And sometimes we do that too. We have a habit of limiting God to make him too small. But the Bible often talks about God being so much wiser than, than we are. And at his weakest, he's so much stronger than we are. And whew, I get tired every time I do this walk. It's quite a long walk. But it describes God as being limitless, as being infinite. And I just got a question for you guys quickly. What's half of infinity? It's still infinity. <laughs> If you took away half of God's power, he'd still be powerful enough to create the entire universe, to create all of us and to love us so much. If we were to take 99% of God's power, he'd still have all of his power because he'd still be infinite. And that's, that's what we have to realize as Christians, is that we serve a truly infinite God, a completely powerful God. So whenever a opposition looks too great, just remember that we serve an infinite God and he is faithful.